Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and diagnose my uh, 2500 Silverado today. It's got an 8.1 liter and the uh, Allison transmission. Uh, it seems to have a misfire under load. Uh, for example, when I'm pulling my boat, uh, the engine uh, seems to drop a cylinder, uh, misfire, and um, uh, just lose a ton of power. So what I'm going to do is uh, utilize HP tuners and its diagnostic function and go ahead um, see if I can find the misfire and what cylinders are misfiring and uh, pretty much go from there uh, and then repair that, that the cylinder that uh, has the error and see if we can get it fixed. So here we are inside the truck. Go ahead and put it in the drive. I don't know if you can hear that or not. engine is definitely misfiring. And in reverse it's very bad. hear that or not. It takes a pretty serious pedal to even clean it up, but even then sometimes it won't even clean up. So we'll go ahead and hook it up to HP tuners and see what we can figure out. So went ahead and got uh, HP Tuner's VCM scanner fired up. We'll go ahead and connect to the truck here. Go ahead and go to Diagnostics and Inco Info. We will read the DTCs. And it looks like random misfire detected, pending current and history. So, I just ran this before I started the video, and it indicated cylinder number six uh, had the misfire. Now, there is a way inside of HP tuners where you can identify, or you can go ahead and scan for each individual cylinder and see which one misfires the most. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start with the... Um, the information that uh, the VCM scanner gave me last time, again, which indicated uh, a misfire on cylinder six. I'll repair the uh, coil, spark plug, and spark plug wire on cylinder six and see if that clears everything up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set up my uh, VCM scanner to identify which cylinder is misfiring. So I'll just go ahead and uh, open up my HP tuners, bring up your VCM scanner, go to channels, and uh, Add channels. Inside the filter, I'll just type misfire. And then we'll go ahead and select all of the misfire options here. And they're all in blue, so that means they're active or activated. I'll go ahead and turn that out and then go to channels and then you can see that the misfire current cylinder and then the history is in the channels and then when the uh, when you're actually uh, connected to the vehicle and it's misfiring those values will show up here and you can identify which cylinder is uh, um, having the most uh, misfires uh, in the event so um, I found this information out on um, from the tuning school, uh, uh, they're how to determine which cylinder is misfiring using HP tuners. They do a really great job of explaining the entire uh, system and how it goes. So I'll go ahead and refer you to that and we'll, uh, we'll get back to wrenching. All right, so here we are in the engine compartment. We're on the passenger side and Chevrolets are numbered. 
on the far side, driver's side, 1, 3, 5, and 7, 2, 4, 6, and 8 on the passenger side. So number 6 was the faulty cylinder. So we'll go ahead and start by uh, uh, pulling the wire and then get the uh, coil pack off of there. And then we'll pull, pull the spark plug as well. off here. Okay, so Oop, there we go. First coil off or number six coils off. Got the wire off. Now let's go ahead. plug out. So that looks terrible. Oop, there we go. <clears throat> Put the light on it. So we had probably Probably be wise if you pull a plug and it looks like this. Probably better check all the plugs, see what's uh, see what's going on in there. So, so what's fun about this project is um, able to combine some old school and new school techniques in uh, in the diagnosis. So we used utilized HP tuners to run the treble codes, figure out it was cylinder number six. But I also recommend purchasing one of uh, of these Moroso. Uh, spark plug view tools because it really helps magnify. I don't know if I can get it on the camera here or not, but it's got a little light, which is awesome. And you can go ahead and place the spark plug in there and it will magnetize it. There's a pretty good shot, yeah. So you can get a real close up view of your plugs, what's going on inside them, and uh, give you a, an ability to read the plugs and get an even more in-depth view into the uh, into the engine so we'll go ahead and replace these three components spark plug spark plug spark plug wire and the uh, and the coil itself and once we get that done we'll go ahead and um, fire it up see if it still plays up and go from there so after some closer inspection of this plug here, there is a uh, white residue. See it really good here, almost bridging the gap. It could be due to a uh, a mild oil burning condition where the additives are left over um, and the oil burns off. Uh, it could be from valve guides or or really anything. So. We'll have to um, investigate that further, but in the short term, we'll go ahead and do a quick change out of the uh, of all the ignition components. So, the um, I went ahead and went with uh, Taylor Taylor brand 8.2 millimeter Thunderbolt. Wires, Summit high performance um, coil replacement, stock replacement, and copper core uh, AC Delcos. I like coppers. Uh, you got to change them more often. But the, uh, um, as far as I know, the only better conductor of electricity is gold. Um, somebody can chime in on that and let me know if I'm blowing smoke on that. But uh, copper seems to conduct really well. I've had luck with uh, suggesting them in other applications, and uh, uh, that's what I like. So change them every 40,000, 50,000. 
So these are going to be our repair parts. I'll go ahead and get the uh, dielectric grease on the uh, coil ends, spark plug, and the spark plug wires, and go ahead and install it. So, all right. So here we go. Quick test here to see if uh, the number six coil pack. Ooh. Okay, engine seems responsive. Go ahead and throw it in the drive. I've got my boat on the back. So, watching the tack here and listening. continuing to misfire. So, it seems to come out of it really fast, but it does have that low misfire at, uh, or that misfire at low RPMs. So, what we'll do is go ahead and replace all of the uh, coils and the spark plugs and the wires. All right, so pulled all the plugs wires and coils and we'll go ahead and take a look at what they look like here let's see if we can focus in here okay that one doesn't look too bad number one cylinder number three Gus. Number five looks terrible. And number seven looks terrible. So not uh, not the greatest group of spark plugs on the odd side. Now number let's see if I can get it to zoom in on my hand here. Here we go. So two looks gapped way out number four uh, just looks terrible number six shows signs of uh, light oil burning as well and then number eight again same thing so it would almost we could almost assume that we've got a valve guide issue or some si some sort of uh, oil entering the combustion chamber, and then the uh, the uh, items being uh, remnants being left over from the from the burn. So, anyhow, let's go out to the truck. Okay, new coils, wires, and uh, plugs installed. Haven't even fired it up yet, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Try to recreate the error by putting a load on the truck, which is pulling my boat right now. And we'll slow the engine weed or slow the speed way down so it's really lugging. Because that seems to be where the error occurs. 
Okay, no hesitation. I don't feel any missing or uh, losing any cylinder. Come back again. Stopping to make it difficult. Good response. Good engine response. All right, so at this point I call this uh, repaired. I will do some more testing and update the uh, video if necessary or even in the comment box. But it appears at this point that uh, pulling out the terrible plugs and running uh, new coils and wires has, has definitely fixed the uh, cylinder misfire issue.